friends, it's Amanda. Welcome back for more Hip Kick Club inspiration. Joining you today for more February ideas. And today's design team assignment is to feature one of our cut files. And because I'm using the February kits, I've decided to use one of our February cut files still because, well, look at it. It's gorgeous and I hadn't had the chance to use this one yet. So using that fabulous floral heart cut file that is exclusive, of course, to our Hip Kick Club members. And I'm going to come in with, firstly, our colour kit. So I've got that beautiful Lindy's Magical in the Raspberry Lemonade colour. And I'm just going to mix that up first because these colours are just divine. And sometimes they just need to be worked just a little bit, make sure that powder's absorbed. Now, yeah, so I wanted to add a little bit of colour, but not too much. So I've decided to go through and paint all the solid little flowers. So all those teeny tiny ones that you couldn't back with paper. They're the ones that I'm going to paint by hand. So coming in with that gorgeous raspberry lemonade. It's a beautiful colour, isn't it? And look at that. Oh, doesn't that just pop? It's gorgeous. So vibrant. I'm putting that paint to the side because I am going to come back and use some more of it later. But in terms of my cut file, that's all the treatment that I'm giving it for now. Um, I just love how that looks. It's really, really pretty. Look at that. I love the thought of using a purple base. Um... But you'll see I changed my mind shortly. So I'm sort of playing around with the idea of having, yeah, the two Pocket Life cards backing my photo, some fussy cut leaves from one of the um, main kit papers, and then lots and lots of all those Bloom Street florals, blooms, and butterflies, all the pretty things really, isn't it? So lots of the Pink Paisley Bloom Street. I've even got a little bit of trimmed at the top and bottom with that Argyle pattern paper. But yeah, see, I decide, you know what, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to go back to a white base. And because I love the purple, but I I wanted white as well. I wanted that clean look. I decide that I'm going to use this gorgeous purple, this lovely lilac color, um, the, nu the Nouveau Mousse. And to be honest, I was a bit surprised by this. I thought being a mousse, it was going to be really fluffy and, and creamy like other mousses that I've used. Um, it wasn't. It was a real surprise. It was more like um, stiff butter. <laughs> Um, but in saying that, as it went on, it was just the smoothest consistency and I couldn't get over how beautiful and yeah, it was just amazing. I actually, it actually blew my mind. It was not what I was expecting at all. And then it continued to be not what I was expecting, but it completely wowed me. And yeah, look at that gloss on that. The sheen is amazing. And then of course I've come back in with those raspberry lemonade splatters and ah, uh, isn't that beautiful? I'm really happy with how that looks. So really simple, not a tricky one with your cut file, but just gorgeous. So going to fussy cut out those pocket cards now and just trim them so they work for my photo. I just like those colours. They're really pretty and it's a really lovely photo of my darling girl. And yeah, I just wanted to scrapbook it. I have scrapped a similar photo of her and um, it was, in particular it was a day where she'd had a really horrible day and we were talking about having fresh starts and new beginnings and moving forward from days that challenge us and doing some self-care and that sort of thing. So this page is more about the fresh start side of it. So we've done, the, I made a page for her, the album, focusing on how good can come of all things. And now we're looking at, yeah, that fresh start. And of course, the spring blooms are perfect for that because everything about spring is about that new new beginnings, isn't it? So yeah, so just making my little photo cluster or the layers that are going to pop behind. So even though the bits of the cards that I was that I cut out, I'm still using them. I'm just building up those layers behind my photo. So I've just got those extra pops of colour there. And I think that blue and purple is particularly important because there's so much pink in the background that I just need that little point of difference to make her image even more focal. Of course, I have got a black and white photo for the same reason, so... Hopefully you won't get lost amongst all those beautiful blooms and florals. And yeah, I like, I already love how that looks. And then I'm going to come in. Yeah, I like that huge butterfly. It's divine. These are some of the fussy cut leaves I was talking about from, I think it's paper 14, but I could be wrong. Um, going by memory here, but it's, it's one of the Bloom Street papers that were in the main kit and it's got all the florals on it. And yeah, it just it was really pretty and I, I just couldn't resist. I'm just trimming that one up because I actually don't want to back any of this cut file. I don't want you to see anything beneath it, ideally. Um, I want it kept so that you can really just enjoy that beautiful um, Novo Mousse background because it's it's really pretty. That colour is divine and 
hard to see in this light but as you saw um, it has that amazing sheen so in the daylight I want you to really be able to see just that gorgeous gloss and beautiful finish and yeah so just um, altering a few of these die cuts just ever so slightly so that they fit better with firstly the color palette and then of course better in with my photograph as well so I'm just going to pop them in like so and I'm really just playing around with the idea at the moment so yeah <laughs> Just fussing with all the florals. <laughs> that makes me happy. I love florals. They're so beautiful to work with. And that cup pole is really stunning, isn't it? It's a really beautiful one. And yeah, I couldn't resist. <laughs> so I'm just going around and yeah, picking out all the pretty things that I think will work beautifully. And then, of course, I join in the other side. And of course, that title that says Fresh Start, which ties in beautifully. And then balancing all the pink with those pops of purple as well. There we go. That's looking really lovely. I'm quite happy with that. I try those trims again and I really thought I was going to use them because of that pop of purple. But in the end, I actually, I do vote against them, which is sad because the paper's divine, but it just didn't quite work for me. So going through all the Bloom Street embellishments now and seeing if there was a thing or two that I might like to use. I'm still not sure. So I decided to go ahead and start gluing everything down. So just popping everything in place. Um, and then I'll, of course, to finish with, end up securing that beautiful heart cut file. And what a lovely way to use our cut files because sometimes, you know, cut files back to beautiful, but sometimes it, you want to do something a bit different with them. And I think, yeah, having just a mixed media base and keeping them plain is, is really lovely. And um, I guess the few painted ones on top sort of help break it up a little bit and add that little extra pop of colour and... Yeah, look, I just love how this looks. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, and it wasn't hard to do at all. So, you know, it's one of those nice ones where if you just want to, and, and you can probably see by the lighting as well, I was sitting late at night and I just wanted to craft just for me and take some time and just enjoy. And yeah, this layout's been really lovely for that. It's been really cathartic. So yeah, <laughs> very soothing on the on the nerves during these difficult times at the moment. And I think we do need to make sure that we are exercising self-care it's really important isn't it making time for ourselves so still persisting with those trims but you can see I've now given up on them I've taken them away and I'm going to come in with the sticker book sheet from the Pink Palais the Bloom Street collection as well as these larger cardstock stickers as well I'm just adding in a few of them this one I've decided to back with some foam tape just so it's got that extra bit of support because it's adorning on my photo and Look, just all those little, yeah, small florals and just finishing touch pieces, really. I love this one. It says, you are beautiful. And there you have it. Really simple, easy to recreate layout with our gorgeous cut files and February hip kits. Be sure to be a subscriber to hip kits because in these difficult times, it might be hard to get hold of our kits. So be sure you're a subscriber so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing and all that jazz and have yourself a wonderful, happy auntie days. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.